this topic we're going to cover what a page is and the connotation a page has in Elms. Uh, so you see I'm looking at a page here. To edit a page at any time, there will always be these content operations on the left-hand region. So I can open up the menu and you'll see them. The common ones you'll see are View, Accessibility, Edit, and Revisions if the page has been saved multiple times. So View is just a way of getting out of edit mode essentially. So if I click and go to edit the content, you see I can then go back to the view mode so that I can actually see what it looks like without saving. So to go through what these tabs are, for edit, this is what the typical editor looks like. Uh, so just the title, you have the text editor, which will be covered in greater detail in another video. It's here, you can add content, and it's great. So we can do that. Uh, then just some system-y type of information just to indicate images with links of relative light box. This allows you to do some more sophisticated things. Uh, also tells you it's going to convert this material. Um, if you want to view the source, you can click the source button and then go in and edit things manually. So I want to save here. You can also see it has the privacy setting to indicate to you that this is something that will be public. Uh, it's because Elm supports open educational resource creation as well as uh, closed courses in the same environment. So you see I've saved my page. Um, I can now open this up. I can go to revisions and I can see that the outline designer indicated that this page was moved previously. Uh, I can go back to the original state. I can actually view these so I can click back and see well this is what the page looked like as of this time and at 846 on the server it, you know, it looked like this. I can also, uh, we can do an accessibility test on our content. So if I click accessibility test, you'll see it outlines everything and then gives me some little pop-ups to indicate, you know, just for my information, all tabular data should use a table, make sure you know, you're rendering information in that way. Uh, we'll go over accessibility and how Elms treats accessibility more in a later video. Pages also have an implication as the icon that they look like. So if I go to uh, the outline designer and content outline, you see anything marked a page has an associated icon. Uh, to see all the icons, you can go to add content and you'll see pages right here. Page is actually the default item. So whenever you create a new item, it will always default to page. You can change that default if you're a system administrator. Uh, but we typically work off pages and pages are the easiest items to deal with because they have no real system implication other than the fact that they allow you to put material into your 